Michelle flies into rage after Melania shows up to her party and takes back what the Obamas stole. For the first nine months of President Donald Trump's presidency, the Obamas have followed around in the first couple's shadows trying to relinquish the role. It's reached a disturbing level and leaving a lot to wonder why Barack and Michelle can't or won't just slip into obscurity. They are living the high life at the taxpayer's expense, a right granted to them as former president and first lady which they are taking full advantage of. However, there was something else that Michelle took which rightfully didn't sit well with Melania who has now shown up to reclaim what was never the Obamas to begin with. Despite Michelle Obama claiming that she was practically a prisoner in the White House for eight years, she is sure acted like a princess then and certainly now taking advantage of all that prisoner status afforded her. The Obamas saw the presidency different than most who filled the role before them, in that they didn't respect it and instead demanded more advantages where the standard ones came from. Michelle lived a much different life as the First Lady than her female predecessors in the White House and her exceptionally respectable replacement is making her pay for it now. There's no question that Michelle and her family lived the life of a party by cashing in on Barack's failed presidency. With the highest position in the land comes a great deal of privilege that they get to enjoy now for life. Clearly, Michelle took the incredible opportunity for granted while her husband was in office, living off the spoils of his position and taking more than she was given, simply because she felt she deserved it. Now. Michelle just realized that she met her match with a woman of genuine class and privilege who realizes the value of advantages and the hard-working American who pays for them. Melania was infamously snubbed by all major designers who dressed Michelle as well as her predecessor's team of other handlers who our new first lady has no use for. While it takes a village to make Michelle presentable for public and capable of fulfilling her role as the first lady, a real woman doesn't need all that especially one who has genuine respect for our country. Melania is one of those women and this attribute is part of what makes her such an exemplary first lady, especially in comparison to Michelle. As such, Melania just figuratively showed up to Michelle's spending party and saved taxpayers a massive bill they never wanted to pay in the first place. Hannity reports. First Lady Melania Trump managed to slash the staff and budget of her predecessor's entourage by more than 50 percent since President Trump took office, maintaining a busy schedule on a significantly reduced payroll. According to Fox News, the First Lady drastically reduced her office's budget when compared to Michelle Obama's massive entourage during her eight years in the White House. As of June, Melania's staff had just four people on her payroll with salaries totaling $486,700. During the same time of former President Obama's first year in office, then First Lady Michelle Obama had a whopping 16 staffers on her payroll, shelling out $1.24 million to her workers. Melania Trump's spokesperson insists the decision was intentional praising the First Lady for being deliberate in her hiring and focusing on quality over quantity. As with all things that she does, she is being very deliberate in her hiring, focusing on quality over quantity, said Communications Director Stephanie Grisham. It is important to her that the team is a good fit for what she wants to accomplish as First Lady, and that everyone works well together. She also wants to be mindful and responsible when it comes to taxpayer money. Melania has a true respect for the American people who have afforded her the position she's in right now, which she doesn't take for granted and proves that by being conscientious of their pocketbooks. Despite what liberals love to believe, Melania loves this country and respects the hard work that citizens do daily to provide for their own families. While they are working to pay for medicine and lessons for their kids, she is not out there sucking the funds they forfeit from their paychecks to pay for a glutinous 16-plus person staff unnecessary to her duties as the First Lady. Both First Lady Melania and President Trump combined have not only saved taxpayers a massive dose in presidential perks that hard workers don't benefit from, his presidency has benefited the economy drastically to enable citizens the ability to make more money and pursue the American dream. Combined. This is a massive gift to Americans that the left discredits only for the reason of covering for the failure and overexpense of the Obama administration, which set a sick new record of the priciest president in U.S. history. history.